already. As f***ing here. Written in the f***ing stars. 2-0. That's what happens when we look so f***ing off it, man. Had a howler. Come on, boys. We got one back. We got one back. Come on. Hang on. Sheep shaggers! Come on you greens, up the janners. Green and white farming are we? Up. Oh my god! Imagine! Run it, run it, run. How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. I am back, Plymouth Argyle facing Cardiff City on Boxing Day at Cardiff's grounds in the land of the Sheep Shaggers, Wales. But anyway, we'll get onto that in a minute. As we know, this is the Boxing Day special. But first of all, obviously, wanted to wish every single one of you, especially my likes and subscribers, a massive happy Christmas, a happy new year and best of luck to you, or whoever you face on Boxing Day regardless um but yeah no honestly this is a big one to come um if you haven't subscribed to the channel please bloody subscribe now because i am getting so close towards a thousand subs i really am it's really not far away now uh we are on about 885 now we're approaching 900 but it's the 1k i want to hit to reach my first milestone for this channel and then we can progress and go for 2k but anyway either way guys Argyle's facing Cardiff today. I'm not in Plymouth at the moment. I am in the West Midlands in Shropshire, seeing my family for Christmas. The last time we played Cardiff was all the way back in the 2009-10 season. Unfortunately, the year we got relegated with Sheffield Wednesday and Peterborough. In fact, like, like, just like with most teams in the Championship this season, that is the last time we faced them domestically. Uh, and that game at Cardiff, we won 1-0, thanks to Gary Sawyer. What a goal that was as well. Honestly, that was a good moment for our survival hopes, which unfortunately didn't work because we went down. At home park that season, we lost 3-1. So I guess even Stevens really on that one. But either way, though, that's one thing I suppose you could be confident for this game. But it's going to be a hard one because Cardiff are actually not too bad at home. Not as good as us at home, of course, but it's going to be interesting either way because most of their three points have come from home to, um, this season with a fair share of wins away as well. They're looking like a transformed team this year. I had them to get relegated at the start of the season with QPR and Rotherham, and they're flying. They're actually doing all right this season. They look like a transformed team, to be honest, under Erel Bulot. They really do, with the likes of Perry NG and Aaron Ramsey in their team. 
Uh, NG, for me, has been one of the best centre-backs of this season. So I think he's going to be one to be really hard to get past for the likes of Whitaker, Mumba, Callum Wright, etc, etc, Finazaz. But yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. It's one of our closest games this season, actually. So no wonder it's on Boxing Day. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. But yeah, score prediction. I'm going 3-3. I can see us give this a game. I know we're not as good away on the road. But I think, knowing our record on Boxing Day as well, considering all those years we've had Cheltenham, knowing our record on Boxing Day... I think we can at least get something. And the determination we showed in that home game against Birmingham last time out shows that we can do that. And I think we can do the same again. I do think Cardiff will be up for it, though, because they are very good at home. I don't think they're that bad at home. And I think they really will be up for it. I'm going 3-3. I think it will be a goal fest. But I'll take a point, to be honest, because Cardiff's a hard ground to go to. And also... It would be a brilliant point to take to Southampton um, in a few days' time for our next away game, and that's going to be interesting because that's our South Coast, um, well, not really a South Coast derby, but our su South Coast match for this season, if you want to put it that way, because obviously Portsmouth's League One, Brighton's Premier League, Bournemouth's Premier League, Exeter's League One, Torquay's National League South, etc, etc. So Southampton is our one, obviously. And I'm going to St Mary's in a few days. For the third season in a row, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. Because the last two times I went, I have been to St Mary's before. The last two times they were with Chelsea, which is obviously my dad's team. Um, one went well, one didn't. So this is my third consecutive season with, Southamp um, with a Southampton game. And my first one with Argyle. So I'm going to be excited for that. But that's in a few days to come. Cardiff is next. This is going to be a very interesting game regardless. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going 3-3. Free free. We'll see what happens from there, really. Uh, but yeah, NG, the NG is the one I'm nervous for today um, for E-Rob Ulot's side. So that's going to be interesting to see. Uh, before I close this intro, I'm going to show you guys my new outfit that I got for Christmas. So I got the new stadium jacket. Um, the new stadium jacket. It's got the Argyle wording on the back. I ain't going to bother to turn my camera around because it's just going to be a pain. It's so nice. Um, I'm obviously going to keep the old tracks because I love it to bits. It's too good. I love it. But this is just, ah, oh, this is special. If you feel like getting this stadium jacket, go to the Argyle Mega Store and get this because it's really good. And also a new present. I've now got the new away shirt for this season. So, of, so obviously... As a thank you to my family for um, the Christmas presents, I am going to be wearing these for my first video with them. So it does make sense. It does make sense. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys some of what's new to the new update um, outfits on this channel, I suppose, with just merchandise for Argyle, really. But yeah, no, either way, though, guys, um, there isn't really much else I need to say, really, other than I've got to leave Shropshire, go on that A49 down Shrewsbury, Hereford, Ludlow, Lemster, Ross on Wye, and get down to Newport and then Cardiff. Meet the guys and go from there, really, because I've got to head off in the car in a minute because it's a two and a half hour drive from Shropshire. But yeah, let's get three points today. Oh, let's do this. I'm bricking it. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green army. And yeah, we'll see you at the ground. We've got a game to look forward to. Come on, you Greens.
Right then, lineups will be out in a few minutes, so I may as well do the predicted one before it gets released. I can't lie, I don't see any of the back five changing, so I am going to say Hazard, Edwards. Edwards played really well against Birmingham. He has to start. Captain, Captain Passion today. But yeah, Hazard, Edwards, Galloway, Gibson and Pluggy. And then my midfield three would be the same as Az Houghton and Cundall. And then I'm going to make a front three. This a change. Whitaker, Mumba and Callum Wright. I would not start Ben Wayne against um, today, like, like against Birmingham. Can I tell you why? Because, yes, he scored, but... Do I want him to? Do I want him to start realistically? No. Realistically, no. I honestly don't. He has been. I'm sorry. He's been below level, in my opinion. I know he scored against Birmingham, but I just genuinely wouldn't start him. I'd rather start Isaka over Ben Wayne. That's how confident I am in our youngster at the moment. Plus, one of our own. He's a true Aronian lad, just like me. So yeah. Uh, I just think there's a lot of passion there. But I think we will start. I'm going to go with Callum Wright for a change. He hasn't started in a while, to be fair. So it wouldn't shock me. But we'll see. We'll see what Dewsnip and uh, Nance come up with today. One to look out for today. Cardiff's defence will be really hard to break, I reckon. They've been solid all season. Perry NG, Mark McGuinness, of course, was at Sheffield Wednesday briefly last season in League One. Did very well. And Gutis, centre-back. He's been absolutely brilliant for Cardiff this season. The defence for me are going to be the ones to watch out for. It's going to be a hard day for Whitaker, Ballymumba, Callum Wright, Ben Wayne, etc, etc. That's going to be hard to see. And then, of course, they've got Miete up front. Bowler, Itete as well. I mean, they had Roman Sawyers on the bench against Sheffield Wednesday. And he's obviously a former Premier League man himself. I remember him back in the day at West Brom. But, no, it'll be, diff it'll be interesting to see. I think we're just fortunate that there probably won't be... Aaron Ramsey will not be playing today. So, I think we are very fortunate with that. So, that'll be interesting to see. But, yeah, that's what I reckon my predicted lineup's going to be. The lineup's actually coming out in a few minutes, the minute I say that as well. But, yeah. We're going to see what other people think. Head to the stadium, meet the boys... And let's hopefully get three points. Come on, you greens. Right, Bill, how are we doing? Cardiff Come on, Plymouth Boxing Day. The one team we have not faced yet this season. You excited? Yes, Louie. What's the score prediction going to be? I've one. gone 3-3. Three, three. One all. You're not confident for a win today? Who's going to score today for the City? Entete, is he playing up front? Right, let's have a look. Entete? What's your name, by the way? Gary. Gary, Jack, sorry. Nice I do a YouTube video for Argyle, so yeah. Uh, you're saying Entete will score for Cardiff today? Yeah. Anyone else we should look out for today? I've said the defence, especially like Grant. NG. Grant. Yeah, no, that would be a good one to chance. Is there anyone for Argyle you're nervous yeah. for today? Uh, who's your top striker? I think I Ryan Hardy's out injured, as is Bundu, but one of our front men was at, before us, he was at your arch rivals. Them lot up the road, Whitaker. Oh, right, so right, yeah, right. Um, don't score for him. <laughs> I knew you'd anyway. say that. So yeah, no. Two one Cardiff. You've, you've two one Cardiff. You can't confident. Fair enough. Cardiff. Yeah. And where do you think you're finishing the table at the moment? Ooh, eighth. 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 Playoffs. Eighth. Good shout. Just outside. That's eight. confidence there. Just outside. Yeah. Where do you think we'll finish eighth. at the moment? Ooh, uh, I don't know. Maybe the table. The table. That table works. Here. That works that for me. You. Yeah. That nice works for me. Now, nah, cheers, mate. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. Where do you think you'll finish at the moment, Bill? I think one place. Second. I love the confidence. I love the confidence. Back in the Premier League. Our manager season. is Turkish kids, the real deal. Yeah, fair it's enough. Good. Where do you think we'll finish at the moment? Plymouth. Can't pick anywhere. 12th, 11th. I'll take that. I'll take that. Good first season back. Nah. Is the pasty man still outside your ground? Yeah, we have our pasties. I want to book a pasty when I'm down there next week. Yeah, fair enough. No, yeah, that should be good. You're, you coming home part yes, then, I January? Am, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm, uh, look I've forward to it. And, Best of luck for I've today's been here game. about 10 times before. Oh, nice one. All right, then. Well, best of luck for today. And yeah, made the best team win. Anyway, it's out. Hazard, Gillespie, Pleguezuelo, Butcher. Oh, that's an interesting shout. Whitaker, Callum Wright, Mikel Miller, Gibson, Randall, Wayne, Kessler, Hayden. And there you are on who you have on the bench. Right, sorry about the focus. Right, there we go. Um, that's a hard side to face today. So there we are, once again, 
my predicted lineup is incorrect. But I'm hoping I'm proved wrong. What do we all think then, huh? Well, hey, how was your Christmas, first of all? Ah, it's buzzing, mate. It was buzzing. Unfortunately, a calendar, though, with Shuby on it. Did he do that keep on? No. But, mate, yeah. I'll tell you now, I'll tell you now, had a couple of drinks, line up. Not agreeing with it. Not agreeing with it. Oh, no here hooting. we go. No hooting. Yeah, I agree with that. Bloody Zach hell. Zach on the bench. Give him a start. You know what I mean? It's Christmas. Give him a start. But if we... Can, I went with a 1-0 Argo before seeing the lineup. That's confidence. Fair play. I Thinking went free that, you know, through, we, yeah. we'd, have, we'd have the usual suspects. I'd, but I would have thought you said, could I care? <laughs> well, I haven't seen their lineup Because as Jack would know, I couldn't <laughs> care. Yeah. But, yeah. Get a point today. Who knows? Uh, Southampton on Friday. Get enough in there. Well, we? Get enough in you there. You really think you get enough? I've, uh, enough I've got a little bit of difference to that, but that's might be my confidence. Actually, Liam, what do you think? Score uh, prediction. One one. I've got a one nil win. One You've gone one one. I've gone. There we go. I've gone three three. What have you gone with Rosevin? I've just tried to rush away. Wait, what? I've gone three three. Liam's gone one one. Harvey's gone. England's gone one nil. Argo. What are you I going went with? Two one. Argo. Oh, fair play. It's oh, even I'm Stevens. England's it, no, England's got Argo win. Even Stevens then. Some of us are confident. Fair play. I nearly. I've... I nearly had us to lose, and then I was like, nah. F I'm going three three. Whitaker to seal it. I've got a draw on Friday as well. Good. I'm not going to predict not Southampton. Predicting. I'm going to say this now. I'm not predicting Saints until once today's done. And then I'll make my mind up. But I want a repeat of 2010-11. That's all I care about. Welsh Pie Review. What are you all thinking? It's, uh, it's lovely, but... It just I'm, moves about in the train. Yeah, I'm, I'm juggling it like I'm bloody... Um, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Tumble. <laughs> People of Cardiff and Wales, if you're watching this, this is your um, Pooker Pies review. Really, really Say that again. Nice. It is really, really nice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, we've made it. I was meant to, I was meant to film this bit earlier, but I, I needed to get my portable charger on. Jody, thank you. Happy Christmas. Cardiff away. Boxing Day. Ninian Park. Wales. Sheep Shaggers. Come on, you greens. Up the Janners. Green and white Barbie RB! Green and white Barbie RB! Right, here we go then. Cardiff versus Plymouth. Come on, boys. Guile! Oh, Guile! And they are wearing... They're wearing the same shirt as me. Come on, way. Green and white Barbie RB! Green and white Barbie RB! There's our lineup! We're the Green and White Army! We're the Green and White Army! Right guys, kickoff's underway. Come on you Greens. Let's beat Cardiff City Football Club. Sheep Shaggin' my You know what you are, it had to be done. Sheep, sheep, sheep Sheep, sheep, sheep shaggers. Lads, we need at least a point today, that's all I can say. Confidence for the Saints game. That's it, Gillespie. That's it, Maka. Miller. Well, thank God we got rid of it for the time being, but that has given Cardiff the corner. Well, 
Well done, Connor. Come on, Connor, who are you picking? You've got Julio on your right. He's got Macca on the left. This is Wales, not on, you get the same in the West Country. Where are you? Oh yeah, on a f cold and rainy night. Look where you could still be. Silly scouser. Amazing. What did, hang on, what did I say? What did I freaking? in fact, what did we all freaking say? We all backed Whitaker to score. Former Swansea man, former Swansea man, scores against Cardiff. What did we say? If that's too soon, then. 20 minutes in, I said this at Ipswich though, but who cares? Will this finally be the day? Will this be my first away win since Shrewsbury, which was just over the border in England? And England, 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 yeah, just over the border, England. Hang on, hang on, please. Oh no, could you imagine? God, we are playing so well. Oh, Oh, God. Jesus, Cardiff's keeper nearly dropped it. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Right, here we go. It's a Perry NG free kick. I'm crapping myself. Come on, Connor, and come on, boy. Who's in that wall? Gillespie, Gibson, Butcher, Randall. Yes! Get in, Connor. And there we go, distribute it when you can. That's it, Maka. Paolo, get it out. What the hell is that? That's an absolute howler. Howler. I'm sorry, but what in the name of God was that? So we basically just gifted them a goal. Typical Argyle away from home. That's a pain as well, because we've been playing so freaking well for us to do that. Absolute howler we've just conceded. In fact, that's howler of the I don't care. That's worse than Birmingham last week. That's howler of the season so far. We are useless. It's a shame because... Uh, it's a shame because I really like Butcher as well from last season's performances, but... Again, I don't understand why he's starting this game. Houghton, any day right now. 
If he keeps underperforming his first half, I'd take him off if I was Juice Snip and Nance. Bring Jordan back on. Good block, good block. Hang on. We had a go, we had a go. All butcher that was. And if, he, and if he continues to underperform this first half, genuinely take him off, bring Jordan Houghton on immediately. You know what to do, Neil? Take that back. He's not even, take that back. He's not even on the f bench. Bring a Zaz on. He's another one on the bench. Frickin' heck. For the players of the season. Oh, here we go. Come on, come on, Rads. Go on! Oh, close. We were close. Just straight at their keeper again. Nice. As Liam's playing in the background, it was going so well, and then yeah, we slipped. We and then we slipped a knife on a butchered steak to make it one-one. No, get to him. At least Ramsey's not playing. No, no, get rid of it. Well done, Connor. Right, well, half time, 1 1. 1 1. In the Welsh capital. We've got a lot of talking to do for that half time, for the half time thoughts. Right then, half time. Thankfully, I've got something to lean on this half. Parkour stuff, if you want to put it that way. 1-1. Um, one, one. This could have been so much better. Pain in the arse, that is. I mean, yes, a point away from home is better than nothing, but considering how well we played this first half, this really could have been so much better. But then came slipping a knife on a butchered steak and pork. Matt Butcher has cost us the lead. But, oh, mate, we cannot be doing those mistakes in this level of football. Mental. This ain't League One anymore. This ain't League freaking Two anymore. It's the Championship. And we've just done a costly mistake like that to let Cardiff okay, level. But, yeah, Whitaker gave us the lead. Brilliant goal. Adam to score. Former Swansea man. And then we just make a... It's the howler of the season so far, let's put it that way. Howler of the season. It was going to be a Boxing Day miracle until that happens. Butcher needs to come off. Butcher needs to come off. 1-1. One, one. And now, Juice Snip and Nance have got a lot of thinking to do in the second half. Bring a Zaz on, I'd say. There's no Houghton today. Resting him of Southampton. Bring us as on, but I'm still gonna have faith because we have played so unbelievably well this first half. There was pyros and everything, but yeah, it's painful considering like that, considering how well we've played. But there's always second half, right? What do you reckon, Liam? What do you reckon about that? It's just shocking. Yeah, well, it's frozen, but. 
still. It's probably frozen to tell you everything you need to know, going, oh, it's frozen because it was that bad, so let's just freeze the screen immediately. Anyway, what do you think of that first half? Yes. <laughs> what do you think of that first half, then? Very positive. They look really, really poor. Yeah, I'd say so. And then we slip, and then and then we slip, and then we slip to butchered knife to lay level. Can't be doing those mistakes in the championship. But who's been our best player so far? Uh, Anyone for Cardiff that's been solid for you, despite them being poor? Really? No. Yeah, fair enough. No, I'm not being but. They've just been poor. Yeah. They've scored through our mistake. They haven't created much chance to that. Maybe one or two chances, but I think they're definitely taking something out. Be interesting to see. Rosevear, what about you? I have no words. I have no words. That's what I mean. It's going so well, and then we slipped a knife for that to happen. 1 1. Who's been our best player so far? Though? It's all positive to be fair from the way we played. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just very yeah, same. I'm very annoyed. We're all very annoyed. Yeah, that's a good shout. Gillespie, Gillespie and Miller for me. The two I did not expect us to start as well. They've actually been so solid so far. And is there anyone for Cardiff that stood out for so far, despite them being poor? Yeah, well, there we are. No. Yeah, it's basically the same as me, really. They've they, they just been poor. And if they get the win, if Cardiff get the win, I mean, do they deserve it? No, not really. Not the way they play at the moment. And why is there Christmas on playing? It's Christmas it's over. Anyway, it's not. It's still um, December. Nah. And also, Shaked Stevens is Welsh, so why am I not surprised? Oh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, um... This has been a Boxing Day miracle so far. Like, this is our best chance of winning away. And then we do that. Second half to come though, it's all positive at least. Come on, you greens. And here's elsewhere. Leeds drop points after battering Ipswich last time out. Millwall statement win over QPR. 1-0 Coventry, 1-0 Huddersfield, 1-0 Southampton, 2-0 Bristol City. And there we are, Norwich has got a man sent off as well. And then of course, it's the big one later on. The top two, Ipswich, Leicester. That's going to be an interesting match. Right, second half on the way, boys and girls. Come on, the Argyle. Argyle! 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 That's it. That's it. And then we lose it. Oh, and when we play so freaking well, we're losing again. Away again. And it's 2-1 to Kayadid. Could have been a Christmas miracle. Instead, it's going to be a Christmas disaster because of one mistake and then we start so slowly. Keep hold of the bow! Oh, cow! This is too easy for Cardiff. Clear it! Thank you! Why is it every time, when I say every time this season, why is it when we play a team from Wales, we dominate first half and then in the second half? <laughs> what? This is genuinely Ipswich all over again. 1-0 up, dominate, and then we bugger it up. Only difference being, it's mis um, a, a blatant mistake that costs us the lead in this, and unlike Ipswich, where, well, we should have had a penalty and then it got their momentum. But we need to bounce back in this game for crying out loud, because Cardiff have turned it around. That's it, go on, Miller. 
Ah, oh, I said win it back. That's Rance. When the ball runs, go on. Oh no, that was way too late, Adam. Way too late, Adam. And way too powerful. <laughs> Depends who Neil brings on, but. I swear to God, if he takes off Whitaker, I'm becoming Spider-Man and climbing the roof there. <laughs> Will you, Jack? <laughs> no, obviously not. Kel? Um, yeah. But Mark, oh, 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 That's it. That would have that they would have been fine with that. We kept that in you same sh every week. <laughs> Come on! Good ball, good ball. Oh, what was that? What was that? All over again. I mean, that was positive. God almighty, I thought that was free. Jason! Oh, I'm not even, I'm, I'm, I should be complaining, but I'm not now. I'm just not surprised at this point with that linesman earlier. Now the ref now. Oh, Azaz is coming on as well. Just what we needed. Neil. Good I say, don't let them score. Azaz, Mumba and Kandal are all coming on. Way knows off. Thank you, Neil. Why is Miller coming off? I agree with that. Why is Miller coming off? Is that Randall coming off? Why is Butcher staying on Neil? And now Oli Tanner's coming on for Cardiff, and he was one to watch for me. He's a decent player. He scored. He scored early on in the season. He's 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 underrated. Why are we keeping Butcher on? Just why? It's clear and obvious on where our mistake was. So we keep the mistake on. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And just when it gets any worse, it turns out I made a mistake. Wayne stayed on. And who do we take off? Callum Wright. Kill me. Come on, Mumba. Take them all on. That's it. A ball. That's it. Keep the ball. Keep the freaking ball. Hang on! Oh, keep it safe, it's shooting again! Yeah! Yes! Gets in! Gets in! We freaking deserve that! We freaking deserve that! We freaking deserve that! That is much more like it! Come on, says Mumba! I agree! Game on, Cardiff! Oh, 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 oh. 
Morgan, what a man. 2-2. Two, two. Sheep, 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 Frickin' heck, game on. Oh my God, it could actually be frickin' 3-3, free free, what I predicted. Hopefully 3-2 to us. Galloway's on, Gillespie's off. Hang on. Hang on, shoot, 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 shoot again. No, you've got the frigid bar. Of course we have. Of course we have. We're going again. Hang on. Hang on. Oh! Welcome back to Missing Chances with Plymouth Argyle. I didn't get it on camera, but just lately, that was as blatant of a foul as you can get. Tight, 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 tight. Do the referees ignore our decision? Uh, let me think about it. Yes. Yes, they do. Hang on, hang on. God, we're really going for this first away win, aren't we? We can win this, you know. Come on. I'll give out. Yeah. I told you, though, I know it's 2 2, but it'll be a hard day against NG. Win it back. Kaz Aiden. Win the ball. Go on, how many minutes do you think, lad? Uh, five. Harvey, how many minutes do you think? 
I'll go six. Right, here we go. What is it then? Well, I was right. I was right. I knew it. You put six? Yeah. Take him on, Mumba. Take him on. That's it. That's it. Finn. Take him on, Finn. Hang on. Have a shot. Too tame. Too tame. Wasn't enough power in that. Bloody hell. Keep it in. Come on, take it on. Oh, oh my god. Imagine. Imagine. Come on, Finn. Would have distributed that so bloody quickly. Come on! Please just have a go at least. Hang on. And that's Whitaker with the mistake now. Wipe him out, Julio. Jesus Christ. Oh, hell. He'll blow it in a minute. I don't know how I feel about this. I'll take the point, but we should have so won this today. Should have won this today. That's it. It could be worse, it could be worse. It could be worse. Why have we done a pyro again? We haven't won, have we? Oh, Doyle, I guess it's atmosphere though. And that, alien. We do need a new manager though ASAP, that's all I'm going to say. Well there we are, there's that. Cardiff away, another away day two complete and done. That's part one of Wales done, part two, Swansea coming in February. Well there's that. We've now played every team this season. There you are guys, another away day completes, another away day completes. Back in Shropshire to see family members again, Christmas, Boxing Day. It ended full time, Cardiff 2, Plymouth 2. To put it bluntly guys, we should have won that. When, when Whitaker took the lead for us, we looked in complete control. I wasn't sure about the lineup originally as well, seeing Gillespie in midfield when he's a centre back. I don't know what Neil, Neil was thinking there, but ended 2 2. It was going so well at first when Whitaker scored, 
But then Matt Butcher did the biggest howler I have seen from Argyle in ages. And that howler alone costed us any chance of a Boxing Day miracle, our first away win of the season, and a miracle in general of winning away for the first time since Port Vale and since Shrewsbury when I was last there for an away win. But yeah, terrible error by Butcher. I hope he realises that because that was absolutely chaos. I don't know if he's league, if he's championship level, to be honest, because he was so good in League One last season. I really rated most of his performances, but this season he has been a complete cloud of dust so far. And you know what? I wouldn't be shocked if we sold him, if not for this January, the summer. He has not cut it at all in the championship this season at all. It was a fail. It was a failure of communication between Connor Hazard and Matt Butcher. And Hazard couldn't clear it in time. And I get why people saying, oh, what did Hazard do here? What did Hazard do here? But Butcher was single-handedly the reason why his own goal to make Cardiff go level happen in the complete first place. Absolute howler from our signing from Accrington Stanley last season. Absolute howler from Butcher. I couldn't believe it. I was so angry. And that just gave Cardiff complete momentum. And that's what that completely reminded me of the Ipswich game. Because when we should have had a penalty and Ipswich should have been down to 10 men, that got Ipswich m momentum for them to get back in the game. Same thing happened with Cardiff, except we made a huge mistake. A huge mistake from Matt Butcher. And that's exactly why that happened at the end. So then we try and press on, ended 1-1 at half time. And then as soon as the second half started, Cardiff get a second. And I'm there thinking, we're freaking losing away yet again. Pain in the arse. I couldn't believe it. Thankfully, Whitaker came to the rescue. And I didn't understand some of Neil's substitutes either. Because Butcher was appalling today, even with that mistake. And yet he still played the full 90 minutes. Azaz not starting, I don't know how. Mumba didn't start. He did come on, to be fair. I don't know. I just think some of the um, some of the subs that Neil made was a bit questionable in my eyes. Like Wayne came off so late, he should have come off earlier. How on earth did Butcher stay on for the whole ninety minutes? I don't know. And Azaz should have started in the first place, as with Kundal, and it didn't happen. Wound me up that did complete. I guess this two-two could have been so much worse if you think about it, because a point is a point. It's a point on the road. We didn't lose, which is the main thing. But from that performance and how frustrating that howler was, especially, we even, we even scored a goal that was, that was then ruled out by the freaking linesman when the ball was out of, um, wasn't even out of play. It stayed in the pitch and the linesman still ruled it out. So we could have won anyway, but I'm not going to say we were robbed because... We made a stupid mistake that got Cardiff back in the game. And this could have been our first away win of the season. That's how irritating is this, this is. But yeah, a point to point away on the road. So it's not too bad. I would have been really annoyed had this been at home. But it could have been a lot worse. But it could have been a so much better. I'm telling you that now. We were the better team today. We were genuinely the better team today. This is... One of these away performances where we really should have come out with three points. And then mistakes like Butcher's cost us any chance of getting three points. And it's really irritating because we really should have got something, more than something out of today. We were the better team today in my eyes. And I thought Cardiff were poor, honestly. And I felt that it was Butcher's mistake that got them back into the game in the first place. So there we are. But... You know what that shows, though? It shows you cannot be making those mistakes in this division, especially in the championship. You can't when you're trying to push for Premier League football or be in the tier below the Premier League. You cannot afford to make mistakes like that that you know you can get away with in League One or League Two or below. It really is frustrating, but yeah, we didn't lose, which was the main thing, but... 
it could have been so much better. So I'm hoping we take that confidence now into our next game at Southampton, at St Mary's, a ground I have been to before in the past, and repeat 2010-11 in League One over them when we beat them at St Mary's. But it's going to be very unlikely. Well, I say that. It is a South Coast game, so I'm hoping I'm wrong, but... Well, it's a sort of South Coast game, but again, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but considering Southampton are on t superb form right now and just battered Swansea 5-0 at home, I'm not going to be confident looking at that. And Saints are now in an automatic promotion race, depending on Ipswich Leicester tonight, because the top two face each other tonight. So that's going to be interesting to see. But I don't know. Um, we are going to be the huge underdogs coming into St Mary's now. But look, we're 16th in the table. We're 16th in the table. It's not too bad. It isn't too bad at all. But we are going to be now the huge underdogs going to St Mary's at Saints, but I'll tell you this now, it wouldn't shock me of us being typical Argyle, where we get an away win where it really shocks us all the most, but I don't know, we will see. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green army! And yeah, well, we will see you all for the Saints game. I will be there on the south coast of Hampshire. Take care. Good night. Oh, and also before I go, thanks again to my family for this new outfit I got for Christmas. The new away shirt and this amazing stadium jacket tracksuit from this season. Oh, it's superb. I love it. When they pull on the green, they're all janners.